thought it'd be interesting to share something a little different than normal, and it's something that I plan on utilizing more and more as time goes by. For years, I've been using a MacBook Pro, and I always had this that way so that I could have my workflow and everything at the desk, and then when I needed to, take it on the go. And the problem is I'm doing so much video work these days and a lot more photography work and Photoshop work and all these things, podcasting, that I needed something with more oomph. Meet my Chromebook. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiffowitz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, I am again deviating from my normal content to share what I'm doing now in my new computer setup. So when my MacBook Pro crapped out on me, uh, it was time for me to do a little bit of an upgrade. So I had a bunch of choices. Get a desktop like a Mac Mini and then get a laptop for when I'm on the go and pair the two. Or get an iMac and get an iPad Pro for on the go or an iMac and another MacBook for on the go and I was trying to save money, but at the same time, make sure it is future-proof to a point and so that the machine is loaded as much as it can, my main machine, for at, when I'm at, in the office, in the studio, at my desk, and then have something lightweight and more affordable and portable for on the go that doesn't need to do as much as I would when I'm actually in the studio or at my office. What I wound up getting was a 27-inch, the 5K Retina iMac. The 2019 version, uh, I didn't want to wait for the 2020 if they are coming out with one. It is the 3.6 gigahertz, eight core i9 chip in this machine. And I loaded it up with not Apple branded, but third party from uh, OWC, 128 gigs of RAM. And there's a one terabyte drive in this. And it has a Radeon Pro Vega 48 eight gigabyte graphic processor. This machine is as loaded as an iMac 27 inch can get right now, unless you go to the iMac Pro. It is a beast. It is an amazing machine, and I love how it is performing, except when you open up Lightroom, but that's a different story. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money for the portable part of this setup because I was trying to save money because this machine is expensive. But what I wound up getting was a very inexpensive Chromebook. This is the 13 inch Chromebook that I'm currently using. Yes, I've got my sticker on it. I've got an Apple sticker on it. Shout out to Steph for giving me the idea for the Apple sticker. And I have a spider holster sticker on it as well. The beautiful thing about this is it is rubberized. It can take a little bit of, a, of abuse. Even the inside, the keyboard itself has some sort of uh, water resistant, liquid resistant layer on it. The machine has a micro SD slot on it, which I do have a 128 gig micro SD card in there, so if I do need to store something, I can do so. It has a USB-C port for power. It has a USB-3 port for other accessories. And on the other side, another USB-3 and another USB-C. So the beautiful thing is I can power this by the same cable that I would power some other devices, like my Nikon Z6. I can charge my Z6 with the same cable that would be charging my Chromebook and some other things. So this is temporary until I save up enough money to get myself an iPad Pro with that new beautiful keyboard. But here's the cool part. The Chromebook, while it is slow, because it is a Chromebook, and uh, it's not the most robust as far as what I can do with it, I've got the essentials. I've got email, Google Drive built in. I even have Lightroom mobile on it, which is really nice because that means I have my photos on the go as I need to. I can even import from my cameras to the Chromebook and have it sent to my desktop at home through Lightroom mobile. That is a beautiful thing. That is a very beautiful thing because now if I need to while I'm traveling, I have access to everything. Now I will say that the one downside is because it's not a Mac, I can't remote connect like I would normally from my MacBook Pro that failed on me. I can't remote connect to my iMac. It's not the end of the world. It is what it is. I've got a Chromebook to, to do what I need to when I'm traveling. And by the way, that also means when I speak on stage at conferences, events, or anything like that, if I'm using the Chromebook, I can't use Apple Keynote. I've got to use Google Slides, which I'm testing out for the first time next Friday 
but by the time that you see this video, that's already passed. So hopefully it went well. <laughs> So that's all I wanted to share. This is my new setup right now. Eventually I'll have an iPad Pro to handle more than what a Chromebook can do and it actually perform a lot better than the Chromebook and it's even more portable than a Chromebook. I would get the 11 inch or the 10 inch, whatever it is, iPad Pro in that beautiful new case with the keyboard and trackpad built in. And that I believe would last me even longer than a MacBook Pro would. So, and it would have good battery life and it's also USB-C, so that's nice. If you have any questions about this new setup, just comment, let me know. And I'll uh, see you in the next video.